Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sage Lewis from Search Engine Guide and this is what's in the news. Search Engine Roundtable reports that Google Urchin 6.0 now in beta. So it's good news analytics folks. Urchin 6.0 now in beta. Looks like a lot of free version of Google Analytics but the cost is pretty high. $2,995 after the beta period ends. So, you know, it's not for the common man, I suppose, but if you don't want to share your data, this urchin beta might be something for you to consider because that is the separation point. They will not be sharing the data like you would see in Google Analytics. But uh, it says clearly large businesses and corporations who are nervous about using analytics because they don't want to share their data they are the person to consider. So if you're a big company and you've got a $2,995 to throw around, maybe you should check out Urchin Beta. The semis are out, the semis are out, woo! What are the semis you might ask? The year's best post in search engine marketing. They had a bunch of categories, SEO, PPC, so on. But then they finally have come down to some winners and the winners are here, the 2008 SEO category goes to Rand Fishkin for Search Engine Ranking Factors version 2.0. And they give you some wrap ups and then who the runners up were and so on. But then they have all these other categories, PPC, <coughs> and there are the runners up there and it goes on and on. There's a lot of great information put out every year by the search engine marketing community and it's nice that the semi people have gone through all the trouble of boiling it down and giving us the best information. So if you haven't read these articles, come over to the semis and check them out because I think you might find that there is some pretty cool information. Good news analytical folks, there's a new analytical tool in town and it is pretty sweet. It's called Crazy Egg. Visualize your visitors is what they say. They got some standard stuff. They got an overlay like ClickTracks invented. They've got a list, a full summary of raw click data, but then they got the heat map. Check this out. This heat map tells you where people are clicking on your website, and this is really telling data. Let me tell you, I've used this and you find things that you would never imagine. Because you see, with this heat map, you can see where they click anywhere on the page. And sometimes people are clicking where you wouldn't really want them to click. I've seen them actually do it. I have a client that used this, and they were clicking on part of the logo that they thought would be links. And they weren't links. But now we know, and now we can use that information. Real affordable too, they even have a free version. You can try it just on a page and see it. But check it out, this might very well be something that you would want to consider. So nothing particularly earth shattering this week, but still interesting stories just the same. I'll keep them coming and thank you so much for watching, it means a great deal to me. This is Sage Lewis from Search Engine Guide and that is what's in the news.